Good morning, YouTube. Oh, I'm checking back in. It is Thursday, the 7th of... Hold on, I need to exit my sleep report. I've got a new watch. It's a Garmin Epix Pro 2. Um, don't ask me how I find it. I've only had it for two days. But once I've exited this, I'll tell you it's Thursday, the 7th of March. And we're back on the vlog. Today, I'm taking a trip to Dublin. So those of you may or may not know, one of our businesses or one of my businesses is called the Gym Owners Network. Uh, and this kind of spin-off business that is the PFCA, which is the Professional Fitness Coaches Association. So a lot of my life's work is in raising the standards of the fitness industry as a whole. So for coaches improving their career opportunities through education and just opening doors. And then for gym owners as well, making sure that they can run successful, profitable businesses where they can uh, reinvest back into their coaching team, back into their facilities, and ultimately back into their member experience to drive better results and a more long-term mindset to what we're, to what we're doing here in the fitness industry and really trying to uh, sow roots into the ground that can you know, develop over the next 5, 10, 15 years for these gym owners, um, having successful businesses for themselves, for their families, and like I said, the, the coaches that work within them and the members that are uh, part of those communities. So today, I'm heading to Dublin. Today, we've got, myself and Jens have got a speaking gig with FMA, which is a marketing agency. They've uh, hired out Croke Park, which is an awesome uh, venue for their, they do kind of four of these a year, once a quarter. So there'll be probably 200 gym owners in the room. We'll be doing a, a little piece on stage. And then for the rest of the weekend, I will be training. I'm going to try and do a little run club tomorrow morning. And tomorrow we have a boardroom with our gym owners network, uh, higher performing gym owners. There's 25 of those guys that are, uh, yeah, a little bit further down the track than the majority of our, of our network. Um, bigger gyms, bigger risk, bigger ambitions, uh, bigger thought process that goes behind running their operations. So we get them in a room and every six weeks we assess performance, map out what we're trying to do. Uh, for the quarter and yeah, give them a rock up their ass where necessary. So a little bit different from the YouTube today. I will document as much training and nutrition as possible. Uh, so on that note, here's how I start my morning. Get up, have a shower, get dressed, often in the dark because Mrs. M is still sleeping and then I come downstairs. It's always the same routine. I try to be as efficient as possible before I get out the door. And right now I'm going to make my hydration drink. So I post this most mornings, so it's going to be nothing new to a lot of you, but one of the most asked questions I get is, do you mix all this stuff together? So typically, if I'm training at 6am, I will take the creatine, performance hydration, and workout fuel. Now, 20 grams of carbs in this, 200 milligrams of caffeine, some nootropics, everything you need to have a really good workout. This is something the acute benefits aren't necessary or they're not there. So you need to load this every day. And this obviously every day for optimal hydration. I take them all together because it allows me or reminds me to take this every day. And like I said, these two are very important for before I work out. Today as I'm heading to the airport, there'll be none of this. Otherwise I'll be snapping necks in, uh, in the queues. So I'm just going to nail these two. And it's simple. A scoop of each. Creatine is unflavoured, so it doesn't really taste, you know, taste of nothing. But mixing it with the hydration just makes a really nice, refreshing, tasty drink that I will sip on for the next probably 20 minutes. I'm pretty good at downing drinks, so I'll try and get this down the hatch. Obviously, I can't take liquids through the airport. So one scoop of this is all you need. One scoop of this. Bang. On top of that, omegas. Three capsules of this, and I'm also taking Pure Sport Cordyceps for those VO2 max gains. And that's pretty much the morning stack. I will also take some vitamin D in the form of the March on spray. Um, and that's it. So these are gonna go down the hatch. I'm ready to leave. If I was gonna be training or running right now, like I said, workout fuel will be in that drink um, and I may have something else to eat in the form of carbohydrate if it was a longer run anything up to 10k's uh, I'm absolutely fine if I was going to run a 10k now as a time trial uh, I may fuel a little bit further because it's more about performance whereas if I'm just running a 10k to get time on feet um, I find that the workout fuel and maybe a little snack is going to be suffice anyway I'm going to book an Uber 
and we see you at the airport. <laughs> So, in the airport, straight through, top tip, if you have eight pounds to spare, make sure you book fast track. Ain't no, uh, ain't no way you're catching OM, chilling in those, uh, what are they called? Baggage, bag check. Yeah, the bag check. I ain't, I'm not queuing up. I'm not queuing up. I will, I will, I will clean toilets for eight pounds, just so I can do fast track. I'm in the airport and headed straight for breakfast. I've got scrambled eggs, salmon, extra eggs. Gonna listen to a podcast, do a bit of work, and then my flight's at nine o'clock, it's 7 a.m. now. Flight's at nine, straight into Dublin, land at 10.15, and I'm going straight to the venue, because I think we're on stage at midday. So, um, yeah. I'll document as much as I think is gonna be entertaining for you guys. But yeah, I'll try and build it around travel nutrition, some training, uh, and just general vibes. See you soon. The word I was looking for was security. It's been bugging me, so I had to come back on here and just let you know that I'm not as stupid as I just sounded. Security, that's what it's called when you put your bag through the thing and you check for any unwanted items on the plane. See you soon. We are landed in Dublin, little delay on the plane, but we're here. Uh, I've got about 90 minutes to get from the airport to Croke Park, which I think is doable, depending on traffic. Uh, on stage, giving a talk at 12.15, so I'll rock up there, show you a little bit of the venue. Hopefully it's nice and busy, and hopefully we can provide some value to all the gym owners and attendees. I've just found out from my PA <laughs> I've fucking got this face track where I can get off. My PA, Mr. Danny Wicks. Um, my minder, my advisor, that it's actually in the Aviva Stadium. So good job he's here. Otherwise I'll be getting a taxi to Croke Park and I'll be at the completely wrong venue. We're going to Aviva Stadium. Far more, far more prestigious actually. Yeah, much better venue. Oh, I was trying to get the top. <laughs> Come on, the crew. See you, Gift cards, asking for referrals. Bernie Spears. It might be the walk on time. Keep asking straight off the bat. You'd be shocked at how many you can get by asking for that initially uh, straight away. Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of referral campaigns. So, 20 minutes till myself and Genzo go on stage. We are going to be telling or talking to the gym owners about how to scale their operation to £500,000 and a million pounds. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's welcome to the stage of James Robinson and Oli Martin. What have you done? <laughs> Come on. Thank you, 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 thank you. and we're actually got a packed up weekend of seven hours here in, in Dublin which is going to be sick. So, the roadmap. <clears throat> Genzo, we've got PA, we've got PA with us. Back here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all done at FMA, uh, good little talk 
I think my... Oh, I can't, can't concentrate on the fucking thing. <laughs> why, why are you on the fucking wonk? <laughs> it wants to look at me now. <laughs> so, yeah, great talk. Uh, with <laughs> Fuck's sake. Sam, where, where's Sam when you need him? <laughs> um, yeah, talk went well. I think my days, or our days of giving talks are numbered, though. Q&As are far better than prepared speeches. Uh, now we're going to go and find somewhere to train. Jens is going to catch a pump because he's only 79 kilos and can't fill out small t-shirts. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> and I'm going to get a sweat because otherwise I'll get antsy. Danny, what are you going to do? Take our bags to the hotel? Yeah, I'm going to carry <laughs> the bags. <laughs> <laughs> then they're going to put dinner for you guys. And then, um, and then give you a massage later. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold the massage. You just find someone oh. to give us a massage. Yeah, well, see you. Thanks, mate. So, dropped our stuff at the hotel and then come to what is currently the best gym in Dublin, Perpetua. That could change for a certain march when I became here. But for now, we love our friends at Perpetua. They're always very hosp hospitable, hospitable. And their gym is sexy, so hopefully I can film some stuff inside and uh, get a good pump. So in the gym, we are getting a little bit of a rib cage, rib cage and hip stuff done. Uh, we seem to do that a lot these days. In our old age, taking on this ultra. And then uh, gonna get a bit of a uh, aerobic pump going, just how we like it. Right, quick little sweat, making use of the CrossFit side here at Perpetua before their class. I went 20 minute, 20 minute long. Uh, minute one, 55 second bike erg, as hard as you can. Uh, so sort of moderate to, to hard actually. Minute two, five chins, 15 press ups. So I did that alternating EMOM up to 10 minutes, then the second 10 minutes, 55 seconds on the bike, minute one, and then 20 American kettlebell swings, minute two. Um, 20 minute sweat. It was good to get the heart up, get a bit of a sweat on today. I'm gonna go back, back through to the open gym area. Now catch a pump. We've been joined by Mr. Ross Calhoun. Is that you say it? Carl Calhoun? Calhoun. Calhoun. He is a YouTube sensation from the uh, northeast. Almost as much of a YouTube sensation as me. Anyway, he's here, he's joined the boys for a little pump. Genzo setting us up. Classic low cable bicep to begin. This is the goat of bicep exercises. Uh, we do this twice a day, every day. Look at that. Come on the Genzo. Genzo weighed in at 79 kilos today. <laughs> that looks good. What was that? 65 of it's in his right quad. <laughs> the rest is in? <laughs> it's not in your penis. 
Only you've seen it. <laughs> We've spent so much time together. There we go. Is that good shit? The lighting in this gym is sensational. Job done. I don't know if you can. Oh. Arms are swole. Bit of swell. Woo! Oh, I didn't, oh, I just had it. The gun was. Oh, oh. Nothing better than the pump, ladies and gents. So, session done. Have a pet here in Dublin. Can have a shower, then have some for dinner. I bloody love the Irish. You know, I love Ireland. It's fucking always good vibes. We're on Temple. This is called the Temple Bar, right, eh, gents? Temple Bar. Yeah. We're at Temple Bar, looking for our steak restaurant. All the sights. <laughs> Getting beaten by the door. Ooh, that's not for two. That's for one. <laughs> I was counting, ladies and gents. <laughs> there you go. I think that's everything. Morning. It is just gone half past five. We're up and at them. And we're going to go and do a little Dumbli Dublin. Dublin? Dublin. Dublin, fucking come on, Ollie. You can speak. Gonna go do a little. Fuck me. We're going to go and do a little Dublin Run Club. I don't know how many people are gonna turn up, but we put out the signal last night uh, for a 6:30 a.m. run. So let's see how we go. I'm actually gonna go on a bike because uh, I want to give my foot every opportunity to rest this potential stress fracture, stress fracture, um, so that I can do the LA marathon in eight days so I'll be on a bike everyone else will hopefully be running it's still gonna be good and uh, I'll try and get some some video footage of the crew let's go Sam, Fuck you, Jens. <laughs> I'm on my little bike while the boys are running. Can't say I'm enjoying it. I've got the worst FOMO right now. But LA Marathon is the goal. And just being involved this morning means a lot, so I'll stay on my bike. We're down at the beach. How sick. How sick. Um, these fitness professionals aren't running at sexy pace, by the way. Oh, fucking, fucking hands are frozen. We're at the beach, ladies and gents. We're at the beach in Dublin. <laughs> this beach uh, has been getting a lot bigger over the last couple of years. 
Keeps doubling and doubling and doubling. <laughs> yeah, the crew. Oh, that is gorgeous. Lovely. Good stuff. Run done. Big up. The Irish fitness crew. I reckon. I've not been to Australia yet, so I can't really confidently say it, but I reckon the Irish are my favourite fitness culture. They just get it, just get the crack. Good crew. Scared of running. So we were in Perpetua for a little pump. I bumped into Tom. Tom's on the game program. Yeah, Nilo Reed. Nilo Reed. Yeah, feeling it as well. Like. You're not from Ireland, right? No, no, no. From here, my friend. What do you have here? I work with him. I live over for work. Nice. Black kids, boring life. <laughs> Ma makes the money. Yeah. Big game program said that Patrick is a uh, shit house, though. So, Paddy, if you see this, you're a shit house. Irish Hulk. I found the zoom function. <laughs> session done. Just another bro sesh to be honest. Uh, awesome breakfast. Hit the gym, got a pump, and now um, he's got to get ready for today's order. What a venue! Sick. So we've arrived at Croke Park. Today is all about business. One of my favorite things. Fitness, family and business. So we have around 20 of our highest performing gym owners from our gym owner network in the boardroom today to discuss uh, Q1's performance. We meet regularly just to make sure that we are on the task, um, reviewing kind of key priorities and performance and then mapping out some strategy for the next quarter. So very much looking forward to it. The venue here at Croke Park is fantastic. We've got guys and girls flying in from um, the UK and then also obviously from mainland Dublin where we have a number of gyms as well so looking forward to a big day I will get little bits and pieces some of the information is quite sensitive for some of these uh, business owners but it's gonna be a big day and I can't wait That is it for the boardroom. Brilliant day with our gym owners. I'm uh, making my way out of Croke Park, somewhat lost. I think everyone else is everyone else is back at the hotel. So yeah, brilliant day. Doing what we do best, raising the standards of the fitness industry, and giving um, gym owners opportunities to live out their dreams, which is exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I'm very fortunate, very grateful for it. So. Paying it forward is the least I can do. And also, improving the opportunities for coaches and ultimately, the member experience and members results. So, all good work here at Croke Park. Now into the bar, bit of networking. Hey, I'm vlogging. And then, uh, I'm gonna try and sneak off and find a steak. How did you find that Coach Jens? Bro, I love that. As always, I'm very proud of the work that you and I get to do in these kind of situations. But I think the impact today is probably the most profound. The, the level of challenge in that room today was sick, don't you think? It was indeed. Hashtag impact. 
that's going to be the ribeye, 10 ounce, that's the smallest one we have, that's the most marble fat of the day. All the meats are going for one person. 16 ounce T-bone, where the larger part is strip on and the smaller part is Come here. Tell us, Mass, why are you fuming? <laughs> 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 that'll do big that'll do that is the end of our irish expedition it is half past nine friday night i'm tired i've got a flight at 7 30 a.m back to london newton airport thanks for joining me until next time peace and love